you know it's easy for you to say oh I don't dream of labor I dream to enjoy life I don't have a dream of a career when you're making eighty thousand dollars a year you can afford to quit your job and take time off I can't oh, real hot girl shit and today is another tea and testimony video tea and testimony is a series here on my channel where i talk about things in pop culture and what we can learn from it as a society i do have a playlist of tea and testimony videos here so definitely click the eye above to watch that playlist to see other topics that i have covered also if you like today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and make sure your post notifications are on because i'm uploading all vlog this long so <laughs> let's get into it so i want to talk about the I don't dream of labor girls, the anti-work girls, the Reddit girls, the YouTube girls, the girls that are saying we don't want to, we're not, the girls aren't working, <laughs> the girls are quitting their jobs, and the girls are leaving. Um, I want to talk about it. And I want to talk about this for a multitude of reasons. Because firstly, I feel like this is one of those topics that I feel like I should support, but everything that I'm seeing about it I just cannot get with it and I also think it's very much giving privileged it's very much giving you don't dream of labor but there are people who dream of the job that you already had um and it's giving your I don't know it's just it's very much giving like check your privilege at the door I watched um Kimberly Nicole Foster's video on it and I thought it was very well done for Harriet here on YouTube I thought it was very well done where she was saying like I get it you guys don't dream of labor because you're working these jobs that you hate doing you know crazy hours but you're also making $80,000 a year $60,000 a year $100,000 a year even if you don't dream of labor you're able to adequately support yourself you could support a whole family really and you're only supporting a one person household but you don't dream of labor you know um what sparked me to make this video because originally I was going to make it and then I decided let me not because I think the conversation is dying down and I think as well like you know maybe I'm not understanding it from their point of view so let me do more research and then recently I just watched today Nicole um not Nicole <laughs> I just watched Michelle Fan who I love I love this new era of Michelle Fan that we're getting like Michelle Fawn or Fan um she's been on YouTube since like 20 11 2010 and I mean like at the height of her career at 2011 2010 but she was saying how like people are burnt out and people are looking to find new avenues which I completely understand but here is my perspective the first topic of conversation I want to talk about is that a lot of the girls that are saying they don't dream of labor are girls that have jobs that people like me who work paycheck to paycheck who you know are making very very little money would dream about you know it's easy for you to say oh i don't dream of labor i dream to enjoy life i don't have a dream of a career when you're making eighty thousand dollars a year you can afford to quit your job and take time off i can't you know what I mean? It's very frustrating when it's people who are not in the group that they're talking about saying, oh, I don't dream of labor. I don't dream to work. When it's like, oh, you might not dream to work, but you make $100,000 a year on the internet. So of course you wouldn't dream of labor because you don't need, you don't have to clock in anymore. You don't have a reason to. And before you were making $100,000 on the internet, you were making $80,000 at your corporate job what I don't understand this I don't think this conversation is for you sis of course you don't dream to work and I will say too I have noticed that there is a discrepancy when I see the girls who are talking about this and a lot of them don't look like I do I'm just being real here um a lot of the girls that <laughs> that are talking about this don't look like I do however the majority of the labor force that is working for minimum wage or ten dollars are people of color but people of color are not the ones that I see spearheading this conversation 
Susan. <laughs> I don't know if any of them are named Susan, but you get what I'm saying. Another point that I wanted to make is like, um, to me, your labor um, could be another person's dream. Like, for instance, for myself, right? Um, I work for a call center. I'm a contract worker. I'm, I'm basically, I am living paycheck to paycheck. Like, I don't even know. It's very stressful. <laughs> I got emotional earlier just thinking about it because like I have to pay my rent and then I'm moving at the end of this week so I have to pay rent at the new place and I have to pay the fucking movers to come move my stuff and then I'm just, I'm poor. Like I'm very broke right now um, but I'm working my ass off, putting in extra hours at work, putting in overtime and I'm doing vlogs. It's like I'm doing all these things, working multiple jobs because I have a second job as well um, and the money with that has not like they're supposed to pay me and they have it so it's just it's so frustrating when I see people who are not in that kind of a position talking about this um because I would dream to work for eighty thousand dollars a year where I have access to health insurance let's talk about it where I have access to medical dental and vision care let's talk about it I would dream to have paid to I can't even get a paid day off I'm taking Thursday off to move my stuff and I won't get any money from that. I don't get, it's not PTO, I'm literally just taking the day off because I have to, to move my things. I don't have that kind of luxury that you do at that job that you hate so much that you quit at where you are making all this money. Also, hey, it's editing me. I also wanted to bring up the fact that a lot of the I don't dream of labor girls do not address the issue of debt because a lot of people don't just work to survive, to pay bills, to put food on their table. A lot of people are also working to pay off debts like student loans, like house loans, like car loans, you know, different forms of debt. And I feel like I don't really see them addressing that. They're more so just addressing work and work culture. Culture. But again, there are a multitude of reasons why people are working day in and day out to make ends meet, especially if they're already at a disadvantage because they have debt from school or debt from a home or just different debts in their lives. And the people that you actually think should be doing this, which are the people like me working for $15, for $12, for $10, we do not have the um, financial comfort that you do that if we want to take a day off or take a break or we're burnt the fuck out, we don't have that choice to take the time off. We will literally lose money if we take the time off. So we can't. So we work ourselves into the ground until we're going crazy or until we're tired all the time or until we're not showing up in our personal life or until we're depressed or until we have anxiety because we don't have those options that you do to take time off when you want it. The thing that I wanted to address is um, a lot of people are saying that people nowadays are lazy, people nowadays don't want to work. On the other side of this coin, because like I said, I still don't really agree with the I don't dream of labor girls because it's very much privileged girls that make a lot of money at a corporate job that now make good enough money on the internet that now they don't need the corporate job anymore. It's giving that. And not everyone is making wild money off the internet where they can just quit their job when they want to. Sorry. But on the other end of it, I do agree that people are burnt out in the Pandora's box. People in the Punta Cana, people learned that they can now make money doing other things outside of a traditional job. So many people that I know became door dashers, became Uber drivers, um, started working as dog walkers. Like so many people started getting unconventional jobs and using that as a way, even making money from the internet because they had no choice because they were laid off or they you know were forced out of a job or I know a lot of people that I know um, they started getting way less hours like you go from working 40 hours a week to you might get 12 hours a week because of you know the panoramic so I don't think people are lazy or people are just waking up and they decided that we don't you know want to work this hard for a living anymore and we're standing up against the establishment I think people just had to get creative because whether they wanted to or not the bills do not stop even in the midst of a global crisis the bills do not stop even in the midst of people dying you know people getting sick 
the bills do the let me tell you something i wish i would go up to my um leasing office and be like i can't do this because emotionally i'm drained and we're in a global crisis they will tell me well if your rent's not here by the third because we get a grace period the first and third if your rent's not in by the third then we start the eviction process i don't care like they they don't care so people had no choice but to get creative people had no choice but to start tapping into new avenues new ways new mindsets to make some fucking money because whether we believe it or not the world runs on money if you don't have money you can't feed yourself you can't clothe yourself and you can't pay your fucking bills and and that's the basics of being an adult so I don't know I'm I'm coming in kind of hot I was trying to be more like calm doing this because like I said earlier I was I was trying to film this video and I started crying like I broke down because I just feel like it's so many people that have such privilege and that are so lucky like do you know how lucky you are to be making fifty thousand dollars a year sixty thousand dollars a year eighty thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars a year even if you hate your job you can support yourself and you're not stressed out all the time so i get why people might be put off by the term of anti-work or I don't dream of labor because it's the face of it so far has been nothing but privileged people who make really good money and left really good money to make even more money. Of course you don't dream of labor, sis. You're a millionaire. <laughs> like, of course you don't dream of labor, sis. You make $250,000 a year. I wouldn't either. You're driving a Porsche. I wouldn't either. Like, what are you saying? So, I don't know. That's just my opinion on the matter. Tell me what you think down in the comment section below. Do you agree with the movement? Do you not agree with the movement? Do you think that there needs to be more research done? Um, of course, I do agree with Michelle Fon's sentiments where she said this is an economic issue. This is not a social issue. And I completely do agree. There's a, a very small percentage of people at the very top and the rest of us are just trying to get by. But there is a stark difference between people who make 100000 a year, 250000 a year, 300000 even 80000 a year, and people that are making twenty and $25,000 a year. And it's usually the people making the 100000 and whatever a year telling the $25,000 a year people what we need to be doing. No. If y'all want us to not have to work so fucking hard, y'all put the work in. Y'all get it so that we don't have to. Because we're too busy working to feed our families and support ourselves to be focused on what you got going on. That's it. That's all I had to say. If you liked today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know this was a hot one, but I said what I said, and I'm not changing it. <laughs> Until I can see further research or further things being put into place, legislation or something, I I don't know. I'm just, I'm not agreeing with the girls. Because, again, it's giving me very much privilege. It's giving me very much privilege. All right, like, comment, subscribe. Bye. <laughs>